Hey, Dave, what led to the decision to go with an opener tonight? And is the plan still to have David Price come in and take the bulk of the innings behind Corey? Um, I, I think the, uh, the thought was um, mainly to give uh, Julio and Walker an extra day. Uh, that was the driver. And uh, looking at the uh, Giants and how they match up, trying to, you know, combat some of their matchups. So to open up with Corey. Um, and use the rest of our uh, guys in the bullpen coming off an off day, uh, we feel is the best way to prevent runs. Um, as far as David, uh, we'll just see where he's at. He's been kind of battling some arm stuff. So uh, we'll just see um, how, how and uh, when he's deployed. So would you likely be trying to stay away from David today and just sticking with Yeah, he, the he's just been kind of going through some arm stuff. So um, we've been kind of... Uh, kind of keeping it on him. So uh, I'm not sure his availability for tonight. Okay. And then with the team being tied for first in the division, I, you had mentioned that you felt like the, their best baseball was coming. Would you say that this team is there just yet? Or what have you been seeing? I, I think, I, I think we're on the come. Um, I think if you look at uh, the last, call it two weeks, um, something like that, the pitching and defense has been very consistent, um, which has kept us in ball games, allowed us to win ball games, uh, mainly the close ball games. Um, I think offensively, uh, there's been some signs of, of life individually, um, but collectively, it's just been inconsistent. So um, I, I think that that I've seen some good signs going forward. So if we can get those components together, it, it should be some fun baseball for September. Thanks, Dave. Dave, with Price, uh, was this something that was since his last starter and his last starter before that? Uh, it was kind of something he's been dealing with, but then it kind of came to a head more uh, after his last start. And then, okay, and do you is it something where if he's is this potential like IL situation or are it you might still- be? Uh, we're trying to take it day to day, but uh, it's a possibility, Eric. Yeah. And then, uh, I guess, other than that, um, you since like crowds have been back at full capacity since about June. You guys have some pretty big attendance numbers on the road in addition to at home. Uh, what, what kind of difference has that been after like a year and a half of, you know, limited or no crowds? Uh, it, it's, it's made a world of difference. Um, obviously you give credit to the players for getting through what, what they went through last year, but having crowds uh, at Dodger stadium, the home crowd, um, on the road, we travel well as far as Dodger fans, but still having the vision crowd, uh, you know, root against you, it still brings out that compete in us. Um, so uh, across the board, it's just been great to have uh, warm bodies uh, in the stands. And I think today, tonight, uh, this series is going to really come to a height. And uh, you can already feel that energy, which is uh, fun for everyone. Thanks. Yeah, Dave, could you be more specific what arm stuff we're talking about? Elbow, shoulder, what? You know, I, I, I really don't want to be, Bill. Um, I, I think it's just something, it's, it's an arm thing, and um, he, he's just kind of felt it. So it's nothing that's going to be a, a big deal, but it's just kind of making sure that we don't let it become such. So um, right now, if it is an IL, it would be a short-term deal. And his velocity was down his last couple starts. So does this explain that? I, I think it does. And again, this is not something that is um, too, too, uh, it's not too big. But I think, again, you look at the last couple starts with the velocities ticked down. Um, and so we just want to make sure just to reset him a little bit, too. Uh, I think that you look at what David did last year um, versus and kind of what he's done this year. So, uh, it, it's a lot of as far as workload. So to kind of uh, give him a little reprieve and get him back, get some of that soreness out, uh, he should be fine. And uh, Max Scherzer was out here running and, and throwing on flat ground. You expect him to start? We do. Monday? We do. Uh, he said uh, it feels much better. Um, we got ahead of it, being responsible, and went out there and played catch. He'll throw his uh, side tomorrow. And A.J. Pollock out of the lineup, just his turn for a day off, or is there anything yep. going on? Just kind of rotating guys, and he'll be in there for the next two. Thank you, Dave. You got it. Next question from Mark Castillo, 
Uh, Dave, did uh, David Price's situation, is that why Andrew Vasquez was added to the roster, just having another left-hander? Just another guy to kind of, uh, you know, they've got some, just having another lefty in there to combat their lineup. Uh, so that was kind of the impetus, yeah. And is Julio, are Julio and Walker still slated to start the next two days? <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Julio, then Walker. And then with Clay and Kershaw, you mentioned maybe Saturday as a sim game. Uh, what's what's up with him? Um, he threw uh, two innings today. Uh, he faced some, some of our guys today. Uh, it went really well. Uh, so I think the next step for Clayton will be to throw a pen on Sunday, I would imagine. And uh, once he gets through that, then we'll figure out uh, where he goes on a rehab assignment, which would either be uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So it's definitely a rehab assignment, not straight activation. Correct. And then what, what do you envision for that in rehab? Just, just three innings? I think it's just three innings, uh, you know, pitching a game and go through the, uh, you know, the half inning when you're on the bench and the, the regular rhythm of a start. And then after he gets through that, uh, we would assume healthy and all goes well, then the next outing would be uh, with us. Thank you, Dave. Hey, Dave, just for follow, uh, following up with injured pitchers, uh, what's the status with Gonsolin? Is he out on a rehab assignment, or is that coming in the next couple of days? Yep, Tony's out on rehab. Um, so he should go four innings. Um, shoot, I'm not sure exactly. I think it's OKC, um, I'm, I, but I'm not sure exactly what day he's slated to pitch. And then ideally for you guys to activate him, how far do you want to get him stretched out to? Four or five innings? I, I think that's about it. So I think after he gets through this one with four innings, then it's going to be a real conversation for us. And then uh, now that you've seen it for a little while now, I mean, how have you sort of seen like the lineup uh, construction with Mookie batting third and how he's adapted to maybe a little bit different spot? Um, I, I like it. Um, it. It works as far as, um, uh, you know, stacking a lineup uh, uh, to kind of combat any potential bullpen moves. Um, I think as far as Mookie personally, just being somewhere every day, I think that's uh, helpful. Uh, just getting the feel of hitting there and understanding hitting behind Max and, and hitting who's behind him and just kind of getting the feel of that. Um, but he's swinging the bat. Uh, well, he's taking really good at bats and, uh, you know, just lengthens our lineup out. Thanks, Dave. Last one's from Ron Kevin. Hey Dave, speaking of Mookie, when he went, you know, first to home in that Brave series and, and got up out of it seemingly fine. I mean, was there any sort of kind of sigh of relief for you just to see him be able to to run the bases, make those long sprints like that? There was, there was. Um, I, I think for initially, just to see, there was no hesitation uh, going into third base and rounding third base, where um, the kind of uh, hesitancy which there has been at various times this year. So then to have that, to see that, and then the full on dive into home and getting up with the smile on his face, uh, certainly a, a, a breath, a, a sigh of relief for me. Are you surprised at all to see it, just knowing where he was at not that long ago to see how comfortable it was? I, I, I'm pleasantly surprised because I think that where he was at, I don't think anyone, including Mookie, knew where we would be. And so um, after the treatments and, and the shot that he got to kind of combat the pain, so to see where we're at, uh, prayers were answered. All right, thanks. Take care.